Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's video will be on this red heart pattern and I'm super excited to do this Love My Giraffe Baby Toy. I uh, have, uh, of course, as you know, I've repeated it numerous of times, two grandbabies on the way and we now know the other one is a girl. So we have a boy and a girl on the way and the boys theme is going to be the zoo animals so I wanted to make this as one of his first uh, stuffies so I hope you enjoy this with me and I know a lot of you that follow me are also expecting babies in some fashion so I hope this is going to be just as fun for you guys as it is for me so it calls for red heart with love and you can use whatever you have uh, with daffodil which is a yellow chocolate which is your brown and a little black uh, you will need of course some polyfill and you will need uh, a stitch marker your uh, thread needle and a 5.5 five or an I9 millimeter hook so grab your three colors grab your hook and a stitch marker and we will start this project together. You look this project up on redheart.com. The pattern number is LW4136 and most of you should be able to handle this project pretty well. It is an easy project and just a fun one to do. Uh, so those of you that don't have a lot of experience with what I call stuffies, which are the animals, you know they're stuffed so these are uh, pretty fun to do. Uh, so let's do this one together and just have fun with it. So I will be back in just a moment. So grab everything and please follow along on your computer or tablet. All right, guys. So here is my choices. I do have some in Red Heart Love. So I do have the brown and the black. And then the yellow, I'm going to use the more pale yellow. So I'm going to use that in the standard Super Heart or Super Saver Red Heart. So I wanted the pale yellow more or less than the bright, bright yellow. So these are my three colors. I have my stitch marker and my hook ready to go. Um, so we're going to put these two colors aside. And you're going to start off with your color A, which according to the pattern is going to be your yellow. Now mind you, if you choose to do your giraffe in a different color, by all means, go ahead and go for that. It, just because it's a giraffe, I've always said you don't have to stick by the standard colors of things. I do a lot of play with color myself, so if you don't want to use yellow, you don't have to use yellow. So you're going to start off in the pattern with the head. So what you're going to do is just of course make your slip knot and just beware that this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy video so we're just going to take our time and cruise through it and have fun so what you're going to do here is chain up two okay so what you're going to do for round one is we're going to do six single crochet here into the beginning stitch so one two three four, five, and six. Okay, and you can pull your tail here. And now what we're going to be doing is working in continuous rounds, so you will be needing to use that stitch marker. So what I like to do, where it says to go and place your stitch marker, now I like to wait till I go ahead and start with my next round. So uh, round two, you will be doing two single crochet in each round. So now you're going to be constantly increasing here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This here is your sixth stitch. So you want to go into that first stitch and you're going to do your first increase. So you're going to put two stitches in each. So now I'm going to put my stitch marker right into this first stitch. But I'm just going to slide it into the back. Okay, so that's my first stitch of this round. So I'm going to put my next stitch into that same stitch. So I've got two in that stitch. 
So now you're going to work around putting two stitches in to each. So if we had six stitches this previous round, you're going to have 12 for this round. So two in the next. So that's four. Two in the next. That's six. Two in the next. That's eight. Two in the next. For ten. And then the last stitch will give you twelve. Okay? So that should bring you back to your stitch marker. So you can now remove that because we're going to work into that stitch now. So round three, well round two should give you 12 stitches at this point. Round three, you're going to do a single crochet into this next stitch. That's going to be your first stitch, so you want to replace that stitch marker. Okay, then you're going to do your increase in the next stitch, so that means two stitches in the next. So one, two. Alright, so now you're going to repeat that pattern. So one in the next, two in the next, and work that around. One, and then two. One, and then two. So you need to know pretty well how to increase and decrease working throughout this entire pattern very very important when working all stuffies like this it's very crucial to know how to decrease and increase uh, all the way through alright so row 3 you should have a total of 18 stitches so let's count those 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 alright so remove that marker. Now for round four, you're going to single crochet in the next two. So one and two. And then you're going to increase in the next. So two in this stitch. Okay? And then it, you're going to start that over. So one in the next and one in the next then two in the next and you'll just repeat that and I forgot to put my stitch marker in there okay so basically you have to put your st stitch marker back which is right here I can line back up at my tail and I'll put that right back in here so just make sure you put that stitch mar marker back one in the next one in the next and two in the next okay one one and two one one and two one one and two. I might not put that in the right place, but we'll count now. Let's see how many we got. We should have 24. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Perfect. Okay, so that was the end of round four. So I will meet you back up and we will pick up round five. Okay, round five, you're going to uh, single crochet in the next three. So let's put our first one and then insert that stitch marker. Okay, so we're going to uh, do a single crochet in these first three, of course. So one, two, and three. And then increase in the next. And we'll repeat that around. So one in the next, one in the next, and one in the next, and then your increase. Okay, 
So one, one, and one, and then increase. One, 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 increase. One, 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 and increase. Okay? And then your last section, you'll do the same. And then your increase should be right before your stitch marker. And I'm not going to count this time. You can count. I definitely encourage it. So you should have a total of 30 stitches for round 5. Now round 6 you will single crochet in the first four. So let's do the first one of the four. Replace that marker. And we'll do the next three as well. And then we'll do our increase. Okay, so you're going to have four singles in a row. One, two, three, and four. Then you will have your increase. So one, two, three, and four. Increase. One, two, three, four, increase. And then you'll do it again. Okay. And now you will do it the one last time. So one, two, three, four, and your last stitch is an increase. So you should have a total of 36 stitches this round. So now rounds 7 through 13 you are now just going to do single crochet rows, okay? So you want to put your first single crochet here, mark it, and you don't want to take that out this time until you get to row 13. So you're just going to uh, keep going around with a single crochet. You're just building up the walls of the head at this point. So just single crochet for rounds 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Just single crochet around and I'll no joining just keep right on going and I will meet you back up as soon as I get to row 13. Okay so I have completed round 13 and by now your piece should have flipped inside out so you will be working on the correct side now. So now I have my stitch marker here in place. So round 14 now wants you to single crochet. You can take that out now. Uh, you can single crochet in the next 10 singles. So I'm going to put my first one in. And now I will put my marker into that first one. And I will single crochet in 9 that we have left. So 3 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to do two single crochet together. So insert your hook in the next stitch and pull your yarn up. Insert in the next stitch pull your yarn up having those three loops yarn over pull through all three and you just made those two stitches one 
Now you will single crochet in the next 10 again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now do the same process of two single crochet together. Pull through all three loops and single crochet in the next ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The last two will be together. So pull, insert and pull up, insert and pull up, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So now you should have a total of 33 single crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 7, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33. Okay. So now what you want to do for round 15 is just make a solid single crochet row. So put your first stitch in there. Put that marker back and just single crochet around. Okay? And I will meet you back up for the next row. Okay, so now round 16 is going to be very similar to round 14. You're going to put your first single crochet in, put your marker in, so we're going to do a total of nine single crochet in a row, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to do two together. Okay, and now we'll repeat that around. Single crochet in the next nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two together in the next two stitches. All right, last time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The last two will be together. Okay, and that will give you a total of 30 stitches. Now you will do a row of single crochet just like we did before and then we will meet up and we will start round 18. All right, round 18 we are going to start off doing two single crochet together but we're going to do it six times in a row. So starting off with the two you're going to go into the first stitch and pull up the next stitch and pull up. Okay, and then yarn over and pull through all three of those and then grab your marker and mark that first stitch. So that's one time. We have to do this six times in a row. So go into the next two stitches and pull those two together. That's two. Go into the next two. Pull together. That's three. Next two. That's four. The next two. That's 
five and the next two that is six okay now you're going to single crochet in the next six so one two three four five and six and now in the next six stitches you're going to increase so each one of the next six stitches gets two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And then you want to single crochet into the last six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay? So that is going to be your round 18. Now for rounds 19 and 20, your next two rows, you're just going to simply single crochet in those. So put your first single there, put your marker back, and for this row and the next row, just work single crochet rows. And I'll meet you back up for round 21. All right, I'm back around now for round 21. We are going to single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, whoops, let's put that marker in there. Two and three. Then you're going to single crochet the next two together. And that's what we're gonna work around. So single crochet in the next three. And then two together. Three singles. Two together. Three singles. and two together. And you'll just repeat that. So three singles, two together. Three singles, whoops, And then the last two will be two together. Okay? And then you will take that marker right back out of there. And your row 22, of course, we will do a row of single crochet. This just keeps everything in line and from bunching up uh, and making it look really uh, uneven and out of sorts. That's why we do the single crochet rows in between. So I'll stay with you here and we'll single crochet this together. He's turning out super cute already. All right, so once you get around, do the last stitch and take out your marker. 
row 23 you will single crochet in the next two so put that first stitch in there put your marker back and go ahead and put that next stitch in so you're doing two in a row and then two together okay single crochet in the next two then two together so you're tightening up the head here now two in a row and two together and you'll work that around so now's a good time to get that polyfill out and as soon as I get around I will meet you back alright guys now is the point where you want to start stuffing the head and this is what I'm doing this is the head and this is going to be the long part of the nose so whether you want the head super stuffed where it's really stiff or you want it a little bit loose that's up to you stuff it how you want to stuff it um, I'm not gonna stuff mine too hard uh, being for a baby, you know, you want it to kind of mesh with their hands a little bit. Don't want it too hard. So that looks pretty good. And now we are still here in the middle working around. And you ended up with two together here. So now I'm going to take out my marker. So now we're on row 24. And we're going to uh, single crochet around a row. So put that first one in there, put your marker back, and just work your single crochet row around. And make sure you start pulling this tail or this working yarn um, snug behind you because you've got so many uh, decreases going on here. You don't want to leave the big splotchy holes that it leaves. So just pull those, pull, pull every time you do those stitches, that way you don't leave the bulkiness in the uh, holes. So just sing, uh, single crochet around. And just hold it however you see fit to finish this off here. And you're going to have to do more stuffing, of course, but we're just doing it a little at a time as we go because we're still decreasing okay so now we're back around that is row 24 remove your marker so now row 25 you're going to single crochet in the next marker goes back and then single crochet two together All right. Pull those tight. Single crochet, then two together. Single, two together. Single, and then two together. Okay, and you might want to stuff a little bit as you go here. Okay, then you will keep working around. So single, two together, single, last two are together. All right, so you'll end up with 12 stitches at this point. Okay, now you're going to finish off doing your stuffing. And what we're going to do here for round 26 is you're just going to single crochet two together around, and it's going to leave you with six single crochet. 
So grabbing myself a little bit more stuff in here. Just put a little bit more in there. Because now, you know, you're just making the nose. And you kind of got to form the shape to it. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes how little or how much to get in there to form that little bit of shape you have to get going there. So you just work it around with your fingers because you know you're going to close this off. I think maybe this will probably come close to doing it. Okay, because you don't need your stitch marker at this point. Now all you're just going to do is single crochet two together all the way around. Make sure you pull this tail as you go. You don't want those big gaps. So there's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. And now's a good time to make sure your shape is good. The last chance to stuff. I just want to make sure mine's got enough formation. Alright, and then I'm going to do my last two together here. And then you'll have six stitches left. Then you're going to fasten this off now. And you're going to leave enough tail. That way you can weave that last little hole. Okay. So then you take a thread needle. And then you'll just go from end to end. And you'll close this gap. Doesn't take a whole lot, just make sure you get those closed. Okay. And then you can just tie off that yarn. I lose mine by just putting it in and pulling it out and cut it and it's pretty much gone and you can work your shape out a little bit by rolling it and maneuvering it okay so now you have the head to the giraffe